Hey everyone, welcome to another Go With The Flow. This is a series where I teach you something about Flow Designer and do as few video edits as possible. Today I was browsing the ServiceNow community and I found a thread where a user wanted to close a change whenever a change task is closed and they're asking about ways to write the code. There's two things that I worry about with this approach. The first is that a change can have multiple change tasks. So we wanna be very careful about the trigger to close the parent from the child record. The second thing that worries me is that this is not a problem that requires code. If you understand Flow Designer, you can do this very quickly and easily with absolutely zero code. So in this video, we are going to close the parent task when all the child tasks are closed. I'm gonna be using a table I've created on my instance called Thing. And Thing is a type of task and it has and it has thing tasks which are child tasks so whenever all the child tasks of a thing close we want the thing to close so here we are in flow designer the first thing we are going to need is a trigger the trigger is going to be when one of these subtasks is updated to closed so our, we're going to do our record updated as the trigger it's going to be on the table of thing task thing tasks again are the child tasks to my thing. We're also going to add conditions because there's very specific updates we're looking for. We're looking for when one of these closes. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to say the state is not is sorry changes to and closed complete or closed incomplete or closed skipped. We also want to make sure this runs on every single update. We want to make this evaluation. So for every update and there's our trigger. Always be a good steward of your flow. There's other people that are going to look at this. They might not be as talented as you. So leave a plain English interpretation of this. When thing tasks are closed. Okay, the first thing we have to figure out is when this subtask closes, are there any subtasks left of the same parent that are still open? There's nothing about the parent that can tell us this information. We have to go query for our peer subtasks. So we are going to take an action of look up records. Now, there are two flow actions, look up record and look up records. So keep an eye out and make sure you're picking the right one. Otherwise you can be like me and record for 10 minutes, not knowing that you picked the wrong action. Where are we going to look up the records? We're going to look up the records of the thing task table again. These are the child's records of my thing. And we are looking for very specific conditions on these records because they must not be closed complete, closed skipped, or closed incomplete. So state is not one of closed complete, closed incomplete, and closed skipped. And it's not enough that I pick the subtasks that are not any of the closed flavors. They must also be for the same parent. So let's put a condition for parent is, how do we figure out the parent? We go to our trigger record, look up the properties of that record in our data panel, find parent and drag that onto our flow. Always be a good steward, put a plain English interpretation of this. Counting number of non-closed subtasks of same parent. Now that we know if there is open subtasks on the parent or not, we can make a decision and decide what to do after that. So to mark our decision, we're going to have a flow logic of if, and if there are no more open subtasks on count. How are we going to figure this out? Well, we're going to take the count of the records from node one. So we have this lookup records and we are going to see the count and we're looking for a count of zero, meaning there are no records on the parent that are open or not closed. You got to watch your double negatives. Okay, so now that we have that if statement, if it's true, we're gonna take an action. We're gonna update the work notes and the state of the parent thing. So let's take an action. Let's update record. Which record are we going to update? That should be super easy. We're gonna go to our thing task record parent. So that's updating the parent of the record that triggered this workflow. And we're gonna add uh, a couple fields, most importantly state, and we're gonna set it to close complete. And we're also gonna add something in there because we're gonna update the work notes. And I've got some template text here, subtask. Which subtask is it? We're gonna grab our trigger record and we're gonna grab its number. I'm gonna drop that into our text. So subtask, this number is the last remaining task to close. Therefore, I'm automatically closing what? The triggering record's parent number. So I'm gonna dot walk through my data list here, parent, and 
and number. And just for giggles, I'm gonna put an else in here. Okay, so if it doesn't do this if, then it's gonna do something else. So it's going to, again, we're going to update a record. So action, update record. It's gonna be the same record. So we're gonna get the parent of the triggering record and we're going to up update the work notes and subtask blank has closed, but a count of other subtasks remains. So the subtask is go back to our trigger record grab its number and we're going to replace this count here with the count of my lookup. So that would be node one, my lookup records, and I'm going to drop the count in there. So we've got some nice, rich information in our work notes. Okay, let's give it a test. Okay, I have this record called thing 001002. It has a bunch of thing tasks on it. All of them are closed. In real life, this workflow would happen on the change of one of these things tasks to close. But right now we want to simulate something with everything closed on it. So we're going to take a look at uh, 1007 as our test case. So we go back to our flow designer, we test, and we're going to grab this thing task, and we're going to run the test, and we're going to view the execution details. And it looks promising. It looked up the records, it completed, it evaluated the first if statement to true, and it completed the update record action in there, and it did not fire the else because it ran the if. Well, let's go to our thing record. Let's go to our thing record. We see it's close complete and we see a work note where we see the subtask number is the last remaining task to close. And so we're automatically closing this parent record. So I made the assumption that you want all your subtasks to close. I might not be right. Maybe you do want it so that if a specific subtask closes, the parent task closes as well. That's still totally possible and you still don't need to code it. You can be in your flow designer and simply change the conditions for your trigger. And there you have it folks, a totally codeless way to change the state of the parent based off of the nature of the children. Hope there's something useful in there and we'll see you on the next one. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1,500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.